Don't get pre-approved by these companies. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with eXp Realty. Today we're talking about companies that you shouldn't get pre-approved with because ultimately the bank that you get pre-approved with, it matters. Now we recently had a client who was pre-approved with a not to be named internet bank. She started the pre-approval process well before we initially spoke and well, she came to us pre-approved. She was self-employed and it takes a decent amount nowadays in order to get pre-approved when you are self-employed. So it was just, she considered too much hassle in order to get pre-approved with somebody else. So we started the home search and she found a home that she absolutely loved and she extended a very competitive offer to these home sellers. The offer was well over asking price. She had appraisal gap coverage, uh, home inspection threshold contingencies. I mean, a very, very, very good offer. It turns out that another offer was relatively close to hers. And really, what happened? She ended up losing out. The swaying factor, according to the listing agent, well, it was the bank on her pre-approval. The bank that you get pre-approved with matters. So why do these banks have such a negative reputation? Well, for many reasons, quite frankly. Some are deserved, some reputations are from long ago that are still haunting them, and some just might not even be deserved, but quite frankly, perception is reality. So one of these banks with a negative reputation provided a loan commitment to one of my clients and told her, hey, everything's good. We'll see you at the closing table. Then two days before closing, when the deal was in final underwriting, they called and said, hey, future homeowner, by the way, we looked at everything all over again, and you need to bring an additional $20,000 to the closing table. 20 grand, that's a lot of money to kind of come up with on a relatively short of time. I mean, two days before closing. And not to mention them doing this after the mortgage commitment actually put my client in a place where she could lose her deposit if she wasn't able to find that 20 grand. Absolutely crazy. Another bank that you should not get pre-approved with is known for their delays in underwriting and having to push closing dates well beyond planned timelines. It can become a real pain in the butt when your seller is looking to buy another house and there's movers involved and utility companies, and we all know how hard it is in order to get a Comcast appointment. Another bank's known for their quick pre-approval process, and these pre-approvals in the industry are known to be worth less than the toilet paper that you wipe your backside with, quite frankly. We recently had a client who got pre-approved with a lo local mortgage broker. Her deal went under agreement. We told her to go with somebody that we knew and trust. She didn't, she didn't want to go through that whole loan application process again. Well, this local mortgage broker completely disappeared during the process. They said there were no issues when the mortgage commitment came up. They promised the moon. Then, when it was time to close, that's when we found out there were issues. The deal hadn't been underwritten. They had not been approved for the loan. This is when things went so sideways to the point that that local mortgage broker kicked in $2,500 into escrow that to the seller. So that way, if they couldn't perform, the seller would automatically get that money. Well, guess what happened? They didn't perform even with that extended closing date. And ultimately what happened was that mortgage broker lost their $2,500. And most importantly, our client lost a big portion of their deposit. Another bank is known to be super re responsive and competitive during the quoting process and then quite frankly they disappear with little to no communication once that deal goes into underwriting. Should you need any extensions or really just checking in to see how your loan is going, you can't get a hold of anybody. Talk about frustrating when ultimately most likely you're buying your largest asset. And boy, don't even get me started on internet banks. I could go on and on with additional examples, but really what's important to know is that working with a bank with a really good reputation, it doesn't cost you anything. And it could be the difference between, well, getting your dream home or not. And just as an FYI, those online reviews, they're a bunch of crap. So about that list, I checked with the lawyers and they strongly advised me not to rattle off any names of companies with bad reputations here. But if you email me at jeff at boston2.com, then I'll send you a list of banks that I personally would not recommend. Disclosure, this is my personal professional opinion. They did say that I could rattle off a couple names of banks with some really good reputations. I find that a pre-approval with RMS Mortgage or Guaranteed Rate are viewed very favorably. Other companies like Leader Bank or First Republic Bank are also phenomenal to work with. 
If you have questions and are curious about a bank's reputation, then just email me. I'm happy to help in that way too. A lot of people get pre-approved before they start shopping for a home, and that's great. You just don't want to go through the hassle of getting pre-approved, and then the letterhead that that pre-approval is on actually be a deterrent in you getting your dream home. Now, I got this $1,000 here. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're going to give this $1,000 to the ASPCA. So drop a hammer on that subscribe button below, and, well, let's give some money and save some dogs and cats. I'm Jeff Chubb with eXp Realty, my team, the Chubb Homes team. If you should need us, you can reach us at 617-480-2600 or online at boston2.com. Look forward to hearing from you with your real estate questions. Thanks for watching.